tell me then, the million dollar question is, why is now the right time in the middle of a pandemic when the aviation industry is on its knees? Why is it the right time to launch? Yeah, well, Wiz is a very entrepreneurial company to, to start off with. Uh, so we are very much uh, taking, seeing the pandemic, of course, as a terrible, uh, terrible event uh, in, in the lives of all and, uh, and in terms of industry, the airline industry in specific. Uh, at the same time, uh, we know that any crisis gives opportunities in general, and we wish to be well, very well positioned to come out of uh, out of uh, uh, the darker times uh, in the past uh, and look out for a bright future going forward. So, uh, continuing uh, major uh, major um, um, uh, events or opportunities like starting up a new airline and, and ensuring that we can tap into this part of the world after the pandemic. Uh, made us decide not to delay this uh, this effort and to continue the preparation during the COVID nineteen days uh, and hopefully uh, with a rolling out of the of the of the vaccine all over the world and especially in this part of the world uh, I would say fairly soon if not already ongoing as we all know uh, we we hope that we were are uh, well positioned to get out of the crisis uh, uh, and and take the opportunities when they come. Mm -hmm. So we have we have the two routes just now that have been announced. Yeah. When when do you hope and, and where do you hope to be announcing next? <laughs> yeah, that's the, the question I would expect. Uh, it, 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 a lot, a largely, if not entirely, that is driven by what is happening with uh, the, this, this, uh, this uh, well-known green country list. Everybody can find it on visit Abu Dhabi .ae. Uh, yeah. And that list is, is, of course, showing uh, lots of destinations where we have absolutely no plans to fly to. So New Zealand, Australia, Japan are on that list, but that's of no relevance to us because we are a, a short haul point to point uh, airline. So we will not be flying to those destinations, but we will be flying in about a five hour window. Uh, around in a, in, a, in a great circle around Abu Dhabi um, and um, that green country list will determine uh, whether uh, we, we can operate uh, without uh, having our customers face a quarantine situation upon arrival in Abu Dhabi which will destroy uh, uh, their holiday uh, here in the UAE or the other way around. So that is um, that is our core uh, criterion now, other than, of course, are we adding value to, uh, to the connectivity of Abu Dhabi as an Emirates? Uh, uh, what are other airlines doing? Uh, are we complementary to that extent? Are we uh, boosting tourism uh, for certain markets? Uh, are, they, are they served or not? Uh, those kinds of considerations and time will tell when that when that means for uh, for which destination to come? Mm -hmm. Would would Israel be on your plans with, in, in the future? Yes, Israel is is uh, is is very much on the list. Uh, we as uh, as the UAE uh, national airline, um, the sixth national airline, have our fair share of operating permits to to fly to uh, to Tel Aviv. Uh, in, uh, interestingly. Uh, the largest international airline operating into Israel is Wizz Air Hungary and, and Wizz Air UK. So we know that market quite, uh, quite well. Uh, and we believe that, uh, that uh, there is a huge market to tap into uh, and bring, uh, bring uh, Israeli uh, citizens, uh, residents to, uh, to the UAE, to Abu Dhabi specifically, uh, and vice versa to, uh, to Tel Aviv. Uh, by Wizz Air Abu Dhabi as well. So yes, uh, Tel Aviv, uh, uh, you can uh, you can be rest assured. Brilliant, brilliant, great stuff. I, I dread to ask this question given what's happened in the past 12 months, but if you put, put your crystal ball in front of you and all being well this time next year, where would you like to see Wizz Air Abu Dhabi in terms of the number of routes served and in terms of the number of aircraft that you guys have in your fleet? Yeah. Um, we can all, all make all kinds of expectations and projections. Uh, I'm a bit, a bit careful, uh, careful there. Uh, it wouldn't be a surprise if we have at least uh, 
four to six aircraft flying uh, in, in year one. Um, but again, time will tell whether the circumstances allow us uh, to, to make these, uh, these aircraft utilized. Um, we will only bring assets, aircraft assets to the UE if that makes uh, sense from a, from a customer and shareholder point of view. Mm -hmm. um, so we are, of course, looking out for how will this part of the world recover. Uh, we do think that GCC will recover fairly soon or relatively soon as compared to uh, 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 far away international uh, travel. So the likes of, uh, of the US or, or Asia. Uh, we feel that GCC is closer to, to the heart and to, uh, to, the, to the people here, of course. So GCC market may recover quicker. Uh, of course, the uptake of the vaccine will help in uh, reducing the number of positive cases and that will help the green country list. Um, and I think that the government of Abu Dhabi, uh, the United Arab Emirates, is, is uh, evidence of, of how quick things can uh, be rolled out here in this market. And I see that being followed in, in Saudi, in, in Kuwait. So I'm fairly positive that a quick recovery can be made in this part of the world um, and whether that opens up uh, uh, um, uh, more aircraft than what I mentioned is, is of course uh, to be seen. Um, we are here uh, uh, of course to add a lot of value to, uh, to our, our shareholders, uh, the Abu Dhabi government uh, and, and with their holdings and uh, again we will do smart, uh, smart things only. Mm -hmm.